who's the man now, huh? Hmm. I need his repeat lab stat. All socks is down to 78. I uh, got a paralyzed blade and ET tube. I'm in. Whoa. What's happening? Why is he bleeding? Did you nick his trachea? No, no. It was an easy intubation. Ah, damn it. He's got diffused Ronkai now. I need to scope him and see why he's bleeding. Okay. Suction? What's going on with those labs? I just got them. A couple of abnormals. ALT is 2,800, creatinine is 7, and INR is up to 11. He's in liver failure. That's why he's not clotting. His kidneys are shutting down, too. Yeah, I see a bleeding vessel. Give me the coagulation electrode so we can cauterize it. If you don't reverse liver failure, it's going to keep bleeding. Any idea what's going on? Not yet. There's only so many holes you can patch before the dam bursts. What about the track at the gym? Maybe she went for a run. Are you okay? She's here. Please come home. I'll just assume that I'm grounded or whatever. Where have you been? I've been worried sick. I was at a party, okay? No, it's not okay. None of this is okay. And yes, you are definitely grounded, and there are going to be a lot of changes around here. I don't care if you're 18. Fantastic. More change. Taryn, talk to me. I'm fine. No, you are not. Yeah, well, it's senior year. I mean, everything's supposed to be different. I know. But you seem different. Talk to me. I'm listening. Please. You can tell me. It'll be okay. Whatever it is, it'll be okay. Everyone's mad at me. And they're right. And then I try to change things and nothing's working. Well, you're, you're 18 and you're barely 18. You're not supposed to have everything all figured out. But you make it seem like I have to. Sit down with me. <laughs> Darren, please come and sit down. After your dad died, I hated that you had to come home alone after school every day. I I I just couldn't stand that. You were so young, and you knew how to use a key and the microwave washing machine. And when Will and I got married, and he offered to let me take a break from working, all that guilt went away, and I was able to focus on you. <laughs> I guess I did that a little too much, huh? Well, I'm sorry that I told you that you needed to get the life. I get it. You need your own life, right? Darren, things change. And since they do, they can change again. Oh, 
Um, I had to coach beginner swim this afternoon, so my hair got wet. So this is your real hair? This is it. Well, you look, you look just fine. Thanks, Dad. Um, okay, uh, where's, where's, where's my phone? Uh, you're holding it. Oh, right, um, I'm a little nervous. Sure, you're outside your comfort zone. Dorothy. Wow. This is her real hair. Dad. Have her home by midnight. Yes, sir. You got this guy in your sights, in your reach, why not just kill him and get it over with? Because sometimes death is an easy way out. I mean, what pain would Dominic feel if I simply blew his brains out? Vincent, I spent seven years of my life behind bars. What the fuck does that have to do with this? In prison, even the biggest backstabbing piece of shit scumbag has some position. He's entitled to some rights unless he's a child molester. You know, I watched that cocksucker enslave my mother. He turned her into a hopeless junkie. He treated her like a dog, like a sex toy. Bobby, I'm trying to follow you here, man, but... Okay, Lieutenant Governor is heavily connected at the state level. He has friends in the courts and he has friends in the prison system. So I lured Dominic with the fake drug deal through the help of a friend and you want me to give you the rest on credit? Yeah, I, I was told that was the understanding. And then I had the lieutenant governor pull his strings and set up the bust. I supplied him with the evidence that he needed. Dominic, do you like kids? Yeah, I like kids, yeah. Do you like what you see? Yeah, very much so. And he had Dominic sent up on kitty porn charges. Now the best part, he made sure that the guards let it be known what Dominic was doing time for. And you think that's justice? Well, if it's not justice, it's definitely closure. You know, a lot of hunting isn't just about shooting and killing things. Unfortunately, there are people in this world that do that and give hunting a bad name sometimes. But it is as much about being a part of nature. If you've never listened to the woods wake up in the morning, I strongly suggest you do it. I made the mistake a few years ago of shooting a doe that was smaller than I thought she was. I was very disappointed and very upset. So I would rather let one walk and be sure of their size than um, take one that is too small. <laughs> 